Hi, this is Gary with MacMost Now. On today's episode, we're going to take a look at the journals feature of the iPhoto app for iOS. So, in the new iPhoto app for the iPhone and for the iPad, we find a journals feature, a way to share your photos on the web using iCloud. Now this is a return to having photo galleries which was something on mobile me and was removed for iCloud. But now you can do it using this app and it's completely different. Let's take a look. So let's go to a photo album here and share and use the journal feature. And we get to select, uh, Okay, do we want the one we selected, all eight here, or two specific ones. Let's say let's use all eight and we'll create a new journal um, and we will just name it like that. We got a choice of a few different themes there. Um, and we'll take a look at them. We use the first one here which has kind of this cottony background. Now we'll see that one of the things that's happened here is that the uh, photos were automatically put in it, this layout here, and there are eight of them. Now, to edit the journal, I press the edit button in the upper right hand corner. Now I can tap and hold any photo and move it around, and you can see the layout automatically adjusts. In addition, if I tap and then resize it, you can see it automatically adjusts for that as well. So there's all sorts of things you could do. For instance, I could Stretch this one out. It's going to always try to figure out how to put the layout together uh, in such a way that everything fits. So you can see you can play with it and do all sorts of cool things uh, to get the photos to look like what you want and fit. And it resizes everything automatically. You could also uh, edit the photo by itself and go in and do all the uh, regular adjustments go back to the journal. Um, you can also add a caption for anything. Uh, and in addition to that, uh, you notice that when I selected it, when I double tapped in it, you saw that the arrows appear there. Now I can actually slide it around so you can adjust the cropping that way. And in addition, you could add elements. So I've got this screen here. I can hit the plus button, and there's all sorts of things I can add. So, for instance, if I wanted to add just a piece of text, I've added it there, and now I can uh, go ahead and type something, and it appears on the page. So, this is kind of like scrapbooking. You've got uh, different things like notes that you can add. Uh, you can add uh, you know, little things like quotation there. So, you can kind of color up your page. And all these elements can be moved around. Uh, and resized um, to do all sorts of different things. Uh, you've also got some specialty elements like say a map and then you can adjust the map location and zoom in on it. Uh, you can have, put a little calendar thing there. You can even put the weather and it will put your current weather um, or you could uh, select your own weather to show for that day and temperature and everything. Now when you're done with something like this. Uh, you can adjust its settings here. So here are all those different themes I was talking about. So you can adjust it. Uh, I like the last one because it has no borders there. Um, and you could reset auto layout so it actually rearranges everything to make it look nice. And when you get everything like you want, you want to add another page, you can do that as well by pressing the page button there. And now I have page one and page two. So you can have a lot of fun with this and then when you're done turn off editing and go to share. And now there's several different share options. You go to iTunes or a slideshow which just shows you each photo. But you can also go to iCloud and you could turn published to iCloud on. And what will happen is it will create a web page at iCloud and you could share that URL with anybody you want and they could see your journal pages there. Not only that, but you can edit your journal pages here on the iPad or on the, your iPhone and it will update the web page. So you can basically keep photo galleries. Uh, come home from a trip, you can then set up a page here where you put all your photos, put some text and comments, and then you can uh, go ahead and publish that for everybody to see without having to use another service. So there's a quick look at the journals feature of the iPhoto app. Till next time, this is Gary with MacMost Now.
Want more video tutorials? Just go to MacMost.com, click on the videos link at the top of the page and then you can view all of the hundreds of MacMost videos by category.